hello and uh, welcome to my youtube channel today we will discuss uh, on the mto uh, material takeoff and uh, what is the uh, use of uh, vom a bill of material so what is a uh, mto and why is it required uh, and when is it required to do a do a mto so most probably we have seen when the design work is getting started in the company and uh, we have to do a MTO so we get the bundle of the PN ID and then we can do a MTO so what is a uh, what we require to take the MTO so we need the PN ID and we need a specifications like a PMS okay so like just uh, we can go ahead with uh, the piping MTO or material takeoff is a list of all the piping items required to purchase to fabricate and construct the design to complete the demand of the project it means if you are your design work getting started and you need a product so like if you we have to do a MTO so like we can purchase our product and when the side work it get started so before the side work gets started all the products should be get into the store of the project or on the side the product should be available whenever the whenever the labor or whenever the side engineers require the products so it should be available it's just like when we purchase our grocery items for the whole month it's not like whenever we are standing at the kitchen and we require a tea powder or sugar and it's not there in our in our kitchen so that uh, we have to be like how we store our kitchen from as a one month so there's the same thing we have to do in our product also we have to store and we have to keep everything whenever the we have to require from this from the side this leads includes all the piping items like a pipe piping fittings valves flanges blind flange spacer and blind gasket fastener and the special parts like the strain and steam drive flame arrester rupture disc elbow side glass hoses and whatever the items comes in the pnid and whatever the things is required in the project so we have to do the mto and we have to give if there's some idea it's just like a 60 to 80 percent should be um, it should be uh, should we get a match with the design mto so if we see whatever the least is comes in the pnid when we make a uh, uh, Excel sheet for the PNID so like uh, it comes like a line number PNID the name of the piping components the piping components should be like a T a reducer a wall gate wall so there are a lot of things this comes uh, comes like reducing size are there is like we have uh, two sizes like one is a bigger main size and the one is a run, run size material description material description what kind of the grade and what I the material is are piping class and spec face type is race face a lab joint face thickness rating what is the ratings 150 rating 300 rating then this comes in the remark for writing important notes related to the piping items and what is the bill of material bill of material in the world of the piping the bill of materials often appears on the piping isometric drawing the m2 and the bm is the both are the both are the different things you don't have to get confused what is the MTO and what is the BUM. MTO is used to purchase a product when your side work is getting started before and it should be get stored in the or uh, on a site it by the four months before when the site is getting started. And the bill of material, bill of material is comes on the isometric. When you extract whatever the one line or, or the two lines that you are extracting at a time so it comes uh, at the right hand side all the isometric whatever the isometric we have extracted every component of the like pipe elbow whatever the valve is there on the isometric that comes into the side of the bill of material the piping bill of material is not used for purchasing see the BOM the BOM bill of material that bill of material is not used for purchasing the MTO is used for purchasing a product here is clearly written the piping bill of material is not used for purchasing it is used to provide the required material from the warehouse if I am 
at a I, I am a fabricator okay so whatever the materials is showed in my isometry okay so i have to go and i have to take that uh, product from the warehouse if i am a fabricator i don't have to run to the market and i have to purchase that product and then afterward i will do a fabrication it's not like that way because is a mto is a another part and a bom is a other part the fabricator for the construction of the piping system as per the isometric drawing whatever he will construct whatever the line is he have like in, in the kind of isometric so he will fabricate it as same as whatever the isometric is there the fabrication person know how to fabricate the product he don't know what the design is there what we have to calculate do anything he will not do any calculation he ha he will see just the isometric and he will cut according according to and whatever the bill of material is generated on the isometric at the right hand side he just follow blindly that thing okay and the bom is a document used at site during the construction phase so you can see this is a bom bill of material is generated on the isometric at the right hand side so this is a some uh, page i have just shown you so what is uh, so you can see this is a fabrication material and here you can get the component pipe pipe uh, schedule this is all the descriptions the fittings t reducing the flanges so here you have written a fabrication material so we are getting a fabrication material and we are getting a erection material or side material so what is the difference between the two items the fabrication material whatever the things it's like uh, doing a welding welding part everything welding part of the things it comes into the fabrication part okay when you go to the next page is the erection material the flanges gasket bolt valve instrument items okay so this whatever the bolting part is there it's everything which comes into the side part so we don't have to use this is bolting part at the fabrication shop because the fabrication what we do is take a spool piece and what are the flange is there he will weld a flange okay and the valve gasket bolt that directly come into the side so now so now we will have some uh, examples and then we can uh, take some pnid okay this is uh, some of the pnid i have taken for example how we can uh, write uh, make the excel sheet and what uh, we can do accordingly so this is a pnid okay so you can see over here and uh, i have some excel sheet over here okay so here we can do here we can check it out this is a line number is there pnid is there piping component the material description the main size main size is like if you have uh, reducing t or you have uh, reducer so like 10 by 8 is a reducer so here you can write 10 inch here you can write 8 inch the piping class what a spec is used in the line number face type means what is a type of the flange 150 and here is a rating what is the rating of that line is a 150 is a 300 and quantity we have to write so we can do just and this is a specification from where we can uh, take the material description and the description and the commodity code so now you just uh, do some exercise so this is the line number you have uh, two inch okay and here is a globe wall is there this is a globe control wall is there this is some flow indicator is, uh, is shown and this is a two by one inch okay is a globe wall here also is a globe wall most probably in this line or everywhere is a globe wall is there so we will do a one exercise what what things is counts and what we have to put into the excel sheet so here we can do like here we have uh, from here we can start okay the, side, the line number two inch and uh, css 78 so here i just write css 78 dash css 78 pa okay the line number and the dash and uh, you can get it over here 97.0503 97.0503 this is uh, your line number over here and I will just uh, write uh, 203 is will be there and uh, here I have to write uh, what component you have to be so I just put uh, 
valve so I have to write uh, globe wall and material so material for material description we have to go to the specification so where you wherever you will get uh, see here you can getting a gate wall so this is all your description so this is not the same spec of that uh, project this is some different kind of a spec so here you can get a globe wall okay so the size is different the size is not matched to our what uh, size we have so just for example i just copied this description and we have to just go and we have to paste over here okay and then the main size we have two inch so i just go on two inch we don't have another size piping class is uh, piping class is a spec so spec is css 78 pa is a spec the face type is uh, rf rating was uh, 150 quantity now we have uh, how much globe wall we have so we have to just uh, count over here one inch two three and four the four go globe wall so we have to just write a quantity four globe wall and we have to write over your item code the item code we will get from here is a five eight two two some uh, this is some different uh, specification so it's not exactly the same what we are doing over here see so this is the way I have just uh, take it down the globe wall now I required the flange so here I just write uh, flange gasket and bolt so now it goes to there okay so how much wall we was there one two three four the four, four globe wall so we have uh, both side flange both side gasket and both side bolt so four multiplied by two so it should be here also we have one more globe wall okay it is the same as the same size so here the quantity it will become a five if you have a five globe wall so you don't have to again we have to go to the image and we have to check so i simply what is the flange uh, specification is that so i just go to the flange uh, the flange You can see this is a we can go to the flange. We have to just copy the flange and paste over here. Okay, so here is the same thing the two inch and uh, the piping glass will be the same. Okay, race face and this the quantity the five five globe walls. So I just write over here the flange it will be five multiplied by two. So 10 will be the flange gasket. So again, you have to check the gasket what will the description the size and the everything will be the same and gasket will be also a 10 okay and the bolt the bolt is like uh, is a 2 inch so most probably one side will be the 4 bolt so then the fold will come to 40 the bolt will come in the 40 so this is a like uh, this is a way where we can do a MTO so like uh, what is the use of specification how you can uh, do uh, mto and uh, if we see some other also so here he, here is the thing is like the wall is changed to the ball wall here also is changed the ball wall here we have a check wall here we have some different kind of wall so we have to see the legion also what kind of wall is get stand here the sizes get changed okay here you can see here you can get uh, just zoom little bit okay here you can see you get uh, a reducer okay and then the brick of flange is there and then again is a reducer then either again reducer so you have to just go to the if you have uh, some reducer okay so i just write i just write concentric reducer so whatever the description it will be it will be, we have a 10 so 10 inch by 8 inch so it will something like that if you have uh, reducing t so i just write rt here we have uh, 6 inch by 4 inch so you have to write something like this way so this is a way where we can do a uh, mto and this is uh, this is a format which i have made and i have uh, done in the previous company so this is a way which uh, wait now it's depend upon the company what were the things and what were things they required over top side so you can do and the remark is uh, like if you don't have anything uh, 
in the specification so you can uh, write over here you can give some markups okay so this is the things is not available over here okay so how you have to take the one line mtu so you have to just do what I have to do this line this is a one line number you have to complete one line number whatever the in the one line is comes a, a component so you have to just go through that things okay this is just an example this is one line so you have to take two ball wall okay then this is a one inch it's drain which is one check wall one drain wall so this is a one line is completed of a mto you have to whenever you do a mto so you have to do line number wise because the line number wise is very e easy to check also if you do any mistake if you do as a as a pna device so it cannot be possible to check from anyone if you do from line number wise so i can also can get easy way to check out what exactly it should be so this is the my discussion was there today how we can take a mto how we can feel fill in the excel sheet what what things comes into the excel sheet already i have uh, differentiate what is a mto and what is a bom what is the purpose of a mto and what is the purpose of bom when bom is in uh, when bom is you can see a bill of material and when you required to take a mto so till now whatever i have explained you it will help you to understand for the freshers and the upcoming engineers it will get helps uh, from my from my side i have tried uh, to get some more idea to the juniors who are you now they are coming to into the piping engineering so it will get uh, a great uh, help to them what is a mto and now i'm planning to get some more videos okay till then